Hey, this is Dawood Miracle. WordPress 3.0 has a whole bunch of new features. One of the ones I'm most excited about is the Menu Manager. Not only do I think it'll enhance WordPress's content management capabilities, but it's also going to add a great deal of flexibility to my own clients. So what I want to do is walk with you through the Menu Manager and how to use it and what its capabilities are. So you're going to log into WordPress just like any other time and find the dashboard. And of course, you're going to, if you haven't looked at 3.0 yet, you're going to see that things look different, things are in different places. Um, to find the menu manager, we're going to click on appearance. And once we're in appearance, you'll notice that there's a new option here. There's themes and widgets like before. And just under widgets, we're going to find menus. I'm going to click on that, and now we're into the menu manager. Um, the first thing I want to show you is that, of course, you do have to do some coding. Um, you have to do some coding in your theme in order to update your theme so it's ready to use um, custom menus in the menu manager. So I'm going to step away and go put um, that code into my theme and then I'll be right back to finish this up. Alright, so we're back and um, you can see now that this yellow message that was here is gone. So what we've done is, or what I've done at least, is made the, the theme that we were using, which was a pre 3.0 theme, uh, ready for menu use. So let's look at how this is used. Um, first thing we do is we give our menu a name. So let's call this menu a pri the primary menu. And we'll go over here and hit the Create button. And you'll see as soon as we're given this option, as soon as we create our primary menu, a couple things happen. One is this little drop down over here gives us a chance to set up multiple menus and we can select the primary menu. So if I wanted to create a new menu, let's say I'm going to create a menu called secondary menu, whoops, if I could type, hit create, what we're going to find is now primary and secondary show up here in the drop down. We are going to delete secondary because we're not going to focus on that at all. So you can put multiple menus in here and that means you can also use them in multiple places across your website. Good thing. But let's look at how we populate this. So some really cool things happen here with, with uh, the menu manager. The first thing we're going to focus on are the pages, and then we'll talk about some of the other advanced features that you can use. I, I, I really love this. So to get pages up here, we just come down here to this box where our pages are listed, and we're going to select Home, Contact, Services. Well, let's just let's select them all. And you see we're going to Add to Menu. And now what will happen is, is there they are. Let's go ahead and save this. And just for good measure, let's save this. Now let's go look at our theme. And we'll see here's all our pages. But they're not necessarily in the order that we want. So let's go look at how to order these. And this is, again, this is brilliant. We just take and drag them into the order we want. So we want home first. Talk about our company. Um, let's put our blog after home. Whoops, I'll show you that feature in just a second. Yeah, so that looks like a fairly good order. Let's put it like that. And if I update the menu, come here, refresh, you're going to see that the order now of all my pages has changed to the same order that we have inside here. And so now let's look at um, nesting or creating the child-parent relationships, nesting uh, navigation links. So I'm going to refresh that so it's a new screen and let's take let's decide that um, we really want under company we want to list our services so you see I just drag that in and it indents a little bit and we want to put our, our about page under company too so let's go ahead and save the menu and look at look at how easy this is to do I, I, I love this and this is a, a native function of WordPress so now we have home we have blog we have company up oh, and we roll over company we see our services and about so it creates automatic drop down menus for us which I, th I think is brilliant and it goes more than one depth so if I take about and slide it over to the right a little bit have a second indent for about you're gonna see as I come here and refresh company services and look at that the about comes off now of course you want to style this any way you want I didn't do anything fancy with styling here on purpose uh, really just to save time so let's move these off, back off, save the menu again. You see, every time that I'm doing the change here, I'm selecting Save Menu so that it actually saves. And now let's look at let's look at um, a couple of the other functions that I think are just are, are killer with this. Um, now what you can do is you can put categories in here, so you can make a category or a set of categories part of your dropdown. So let's actually um, 
let's select both of these and this is where the category section is down here so we can now make categories part of our menu bar and let's select add to menu and we're going to see that both categories now drop in here and one way I can see using this really effectively is if you created kind of a mother category or a parent category for a whole set of child categories you could actually list all your categories uh, on from your blog or at least a number of your categories in your blog that way and again here I'll go here Oops, I didn't save this. Let me save it. See, if you don't save the menu, it doesn't work right. And you see under category two, we now have category one, just like in our example here. So I'm going to leave that like that. So you, again, you can put blog categories and you can put multiple categories. So if I only have two categories set up in this, in this version of WordPress, if I had 22 categories, I could parse them and, and organize them any way I like. And let's look at this, this feature. I think this was really, really well thought out. Um, you can also add a link in your navigation bar to a completely other website or a completely different link. So I'm going to add this to my website and all I've done here is I've typed in my URL, typed in the label that I want to put on my navigation link, add it to the menu, and just for showing this I'm going to slide it up there, save to menu, refresh, and now there's a link to my website right there. There's some other functions and features that we can talk about in here. Um, each of these have some customization. If you click on this little this little arrow here to the right, you'll see some customization. Um, you can always change the label, which works really nice because you can have longer page labels or longer page titles because you, WordPress used to default. Your page title was your navigation title. Now you can have a long page title like you might on a home page and still have home be the navigation link. It's pretty neat. Um, there's just some attributes and other things you can set as far as um, the menu usage, which I won't get into right now. I just wanted to show you the menu functions. This is, I, I love this. <laughs> and I love this because um, not so much that I necessarily have a use for it being someone who can code, but I love this for my clients because now with a couple of clicks and a little bit of dragging, you can add all kinds of functionality to your menu. So this has been Dawood Miracle. Uh, you can come see me at dmiracle.com or websitehabitat.com or businesshabitat.com. We'll see you soon. Thanks.